Hi guys, welcome back to the Nerd Cave. I've got a uh, bit of a different video for you today. Um, I've got a son who just became a senior in high school and had his senior photos taken. And uh, I got a bit of sticker shock when I saw the price that the photo studio wanted for his uh, set of eight pictures. They wanted $425 uh, for those eight pictures, which just seemed a bit outrageous. So um kind of found a workaround for that, and I'm going to share that with anybody else here. Obviously, I can't show you that particular website because I don't have licenses for those photos. Um, but I can show you a website that works very similar to that uh, and how you can work around this if you find yourself in this kind of situation. This particular workaround would work for uh, photos that are, say, on one of those theme park websites that... Uh, you, you're wanting to get a copy of, or any other kind of school photos that you can see on a website but you can't really right-click and download the image. The right-click menu is disabled or very limited. I'll show you a way we can work around that. So uh, you can do this with Chrome as well, but I, I'm using Firefox here. I found it a little bit easier for me to do. And uh, I do have a subscription for Envato Elements. Um, however, I'm not logged in here, so I can kind of show you some images with watermarks and how to work around that. So we can go with an image like this. And, you know, a lot of you might be familiar with something like the snipping tool to get a copy of this image. Uh, I started working that way and ran into some serious issues trying to get the watermarks removed when I captured the image that way. So I found it's much better if you can actually download the original image from the website instead of using something like the snipping tool to, to do this. So uh, what we can do is hit F12 on our keyboard to open up the developer tools. And if you go to the network tab here, you'll start seeing all the uh, information about what's being transferred on your network. And then all we need to do is hit F5 to reload the web page and you'll start seeing a whole bunch of information here. But if we scroll back up to the top, you should start seeing a bunch of images here. And if you hover your mouse over top of them, usually you'll get a preview of the image. I'm not getting a preview. Another way we can go about this though is to open the, uh, the image in a new tab. That's not the one I am looking for. Okay, so it does look like this is the image I am looking for. If we open this in a new tab, you can see the image there. And we can right click and do a save image as and save the image file that way. Okay, um, obviously this image is watermarked. Uh, however, there are quite a few good websites that will allow you to remove the watermark from one of these images. Okay, so we can use a website like this to remove the watermark from our images. And here's a tip. They usually give you a free trial of like two or three images. If you've already used those two or three, they lock you out and tell you you've got to wait 24 hours. If you open this either in a different browser or use a in private or incognito window, you can go ahead and get another two or three uh, images. Just close that in private or incognito session, reopen another one, you get another two or three. Okay, so the image that we downloaded is this AVIF format, uh, which I'm not real familiar with, but the website we're going to use to remove the watermarks doesn't support this. Um, the school website that I used that uh, had the school photos just gave me a PNG file and those work natively on the website. But if you run into an issue like this, you can use a program like GIMP to uh, adapt or resave this into a different format. So here's our image, and we're just going to take it and we'll export it out. And let's just save it as demo.png. Okay, so we have that. We can bring up this website.
Okay, so we can use a website like this one to remove that watermark from these images. All we need to do is just drag it and drop it onto the website. Usually it takes about 30 seconds, I'd say, to process the image. Okay, and you can see the before and after with the watermarks and without the watermarks. So we can go through and download. Uh, you do have two buttons here. I haven't had any real luck with these. They've actually made my results worse. So I usually leave those off. All right, so here we have our original as well as the one with the watermark removed. And if we take a look at them, here is our original image. And here it is with that watermark removed. If you're wanting to print these, there's another tool online that you can use, a AI upscaler, which uh, actually does a pretty good job as well and will upscale the image to a higher resolution, um, which makes it a lot more appropriate if you're trying to print this at um, you know a service like a CVS or Walgreens or something like that. Hopefully this helps people out, and if uh, you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.